Hey guys, I'm Will Bender, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be asking the question, on average, how many engraving stones does it take to get an Archangel to three attributes? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you right now. If I go on down here, you see an item right here, Archangel Set Engraving Blueprint. Uh, can engrave the Forge Archangel Set again and has a chance to activate random attributes. So let's say you've got some Archangel pieces that don't exactly have the random attributes, such as this little guy right here, you see random attributes. You can actually use these to get more chances at having the random attributes. Of course, you can look at one of my videos where I've shown that you can uh, forge it with this, but sometimes they don't come out just the way that you want it to, or with any attributes really. So today we're going to be using a bunch of these and we're going to get an average, an average amount of how much it would take to get this from zero to three. And we're just going to use as many as we possibly can. We're going to get a number for ourselves. So let's go ahead and start with this. I'm going to hit my little um, thing here. So we see the first one says that if there are no attributes already on here. It, it has a 50% chance to engrave. If I hit the button, we see that it failed and it goes up to 75%. Let's try it again. So that one took two tries. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mark that here because I am gonna be marking these to see how many it takes. And it only took one engraving blueprint. This one takes two engraving blueprints and activating odds is 20%. So we'll see what happens on the first one. We got lucky on that one. So on that one, the first try went through. Now we get to the hard part where if you have two attributes and you wanna get a third, you the, the chance of activating it is 10%. It's only 10%, and it takes four engraving blueprints. If I hit it, failed, it only goes up 1% each time. So that's kind of what we're working with. So let's keep on going, and we'll see just how many, that one was lucky. Jeez, all right, so that one took three. That doesn't happen all the time, but that's the reason why we're doing this video. I wanna get an average. I wanna see how many it's gonna take for each one. Let's go on to the next one. Let's go on to another uh, scepter here. So we have the first try, hit it once, it works, all right? Second try, doesn't work, but it goes up by 10%. Didn't work, there we go. I'm gonna write that in. All right, and now the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's about what it usually goes, seven, eight. So it took nine attempts. And I'm just writing this down in a piece of paper so that I can get you guys a number later on. Let's try a different piece though. Let's try um, let's try a helmet. All right, so once again, we're gonna try this. One, two, that one took two. That's gonna probably be an easy one. The next one's gonna take one, just one. And this one, one, two, three, four times. So sometimes you do get pretty lucky with these. That is not how it usually goes. On on the on my normal castle, it took me 29 times before I got that third one. So that just kind of gives you an idea of what you're working with here. All right, let's try another one. One, two. So it's always gonna go on the second one because the third one should be 100%. So I don't think it should go above three on the first one. Next one here, one, two, three, four. Next one, one, two. Three, four, five. So we're just gonna keep on going. This may be a boring video for some people, but for people who like math, this might actually be kind of interesting. Let's go into this one. One, yeah, two. That one's gonna be kind of the uh, medium there. So now we go with this one. One, got on the first try. And then one, two, three, four. I will say this, I've got some interesting odds right now. All right, let's go for this one. One, two, we're not going above two. Don't think we're ever gonna go above two. One, two, go for two on that one. One, two, jeez. I'm kind of wondering if they changed the odds on this server. All right, let's go for the legs. See what happens if we get on this one. One. Two. There we go. I couldn't hit it. One, two, three tries. Next one. One. Two. What is going on here? I, uh, 
So I'm going to doubt this one a little bit, but this is interesting. Let's go for some boots. One, two. One, two, three. All right, four on that one. One, two. All right, well, we are getting kind of a consistent median here. We're just going to keep on going. We're, we're, we're going to literally do all of these, and then we're going to see what we get at the end. That was a one. Three, four. That one, that one took five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six on that one. Now just remember, I mean, some of these are going by quickly, but you have to consider that that one was six. That one took four blueprints each time, so that's 24 right there. Five on the other one, that's 10 blueprints, and then one on the other one, that's one. You've got a pretty good amount of blueprints that you're still using. But like I said, we're just going to keep on going. One, two, oh, that one actually took a three. So that one does have a chance at going all the way to three. That's kind of bull, but it happens. So you can kind of see. When it says 100%, it'll always happen. So three is the maximum on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that one. Okay, that's a little bit more accurate. Let's try this one. One, two, three. Okay. So that one was a little unlucky. That one took quite a bit. Let's go with this one. No, I'm going to eventually figure out which ones I don't have. One, two, two for that one. One, two, two for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. Okay, so that, that that's a little bit more what I thought it was going to be like. But this is fine. That means this is actually kind of fair. We're just going to keep on going. Keep moving, keep moving. One, two, three. That one took three. One, just one on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. That one took a whole 10. You can see how this can get a little frustrating sometimes. Especially when you're only doing them one at a time, it seems like it's going much slower. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. That one took 11. Now we're starting to get into the higher numbers. I'm wondering if I had just a luck streak in the very beginning. That's really weird. That's what math is. Sometimes one, two. Let's go to my next piece of paper here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That one took, only took three. We got a good bit of numbers here, but I'm just I'm going to keep on going because I have more and I want to get you guys the most accurate number possible. So I think these are all good. Yep, those are all good. Helmets. All right, let's do this one. One, two, two for that one. One, two, two for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for that one. Let's try this one. One. On the first try. Sometimes that actually happens a lot more often than you may think. One, two, two for that one. That's good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for that one. And then at the end, guys, I'm also going to be doing a calculation of how many uh, blueprints this takes, obviously. So you guys can have a good idea because there, there, there's basic eighth grade math in here, but it's super simple. One. Two. One, two, three. Okay, that one. One, two, two for that. All right, let's keep going. Click it. Click it. There we go. One, simple. One, two, three, four, five, six on that one. And then one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight for that one. We're starting to see more of a consistent, I'm dropping my pen now. We're starting to see a more of a consistent basis on how, um, what, how many of these actually take. Let's go for this one. One, two, okay. two, one, two, two for that one. I'm trying to go quick. <laughs> okay, one. Sometimes you just get lucky. Sometimes you get it on the first try. It does not happen often. Try this one. One, got that one. One, two, three, four, five, six for that one. <laughs> All right, we are really starting to, uh... <laughs> I wonder if there's an algorithm for how many times you've done this, if it just like starts having pity on you. I doubt it though. One. Can we just get like a perfect one the whole way through? Nope. Three, four, five, six, seven. That one took nearly all eight. By the way, that one, that one's maximum is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. I haven't took 14. I think that's our biggest one so far, if I'm looking at that right. Oh no, we've also had a 14 as well before. So we've, so we've tied for the biggest one we've had so far. One, two. I wonder if we're going to reach the maximum on the second one at one point. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Keep on moving. We still have a few more to go through. Let's get the best number we can. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, seven on that one. Let's keep moving. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It took eleven. All right, so that should be all the pants. Yep, that's all the pants. Let's go to the boots, which we did most of those. I think we only have two more left. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, we're higher than that. We're higher than what we had before. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. That one took nineteen. in a few times all right there we go 19 that's our biggest one so far and yet i don't think that that's uncommon i just don't think it is all right so all we have left are um are the rings so let's get those done and then we'll get a final number going one two one two three one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for that one. Very good. Few more, few more. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. Try this one. One, two, three. That one took three. Took the max. One, two, three, four, five. Five for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve for that one. That's a big one. All right. Let's keep moving. Two more. Two more. One, two, two for that one. One, two, three, four, five. One, one. <laughs> Sometimes one happens, guys. Sometimes just one just happens. All right, last one for the evening, guys. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. 
I really want to see a max for this one right here. Well, nope, we're going to get it on the first one. And then this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put all of those in, uh, but just so you guys know for the video, we have done, we've done a lot. Five, there should be five of each. So five times six, we've done 30 blank Archangel pieces. So that kind of gives you an idea of how long this video took. But let's do some quick math and then we'll see what our average is. So our first tabulation comes up with the first try of doing it. So like if you're on here and you're trying for just one attribute, it comes to an average of 1.9 blueprints to use. And that's really accurate because the vast majority of these took two blueprints to get to that first attribute. As a matter of fact, the hard statistics say that out of the 30, seven of them were done on the first try and four of them were done on the third and final try. So you're averaging about two blueprints to get to that first attribute. As far as the second attribute goes, it takes on average seven engraving blueprints to get to that second attribute. We get this number because we see that our average is 3.56, which is the amount of tries that it took to get there. You have to times that by two because each one takes two blueprints to get there. So we have two blueprints for the first one and seven for the second one. Let's see what the third one is. For the third attribute, it takes roughly 26.8 engraving blueprints. And again, you have to realize that I'm going by the tries to begin with. If I were to divide this by four, we would have 6.7 as the amount of tries it would take to get there. So you would normally be seeing it around the 15 to 16% mark, but you have to times that by four because it takes four engraving um, blueprints to get for one try. So we're looking at about 26.8, so we're just gonna round that up to 27. So we come to our grand total. On average, if you are working with, a, with an Archangel piece that has no attributes and you're trying to get it to three, it will take roughly 36 engraving blueprints to get there. So one of the big questions now is where do I get these engraving blueprints? The major area is over here within your daily tabs. I actually don't even know if I even have it here, which I do, okay. This final chest here, the platinum chest, if you can get up to 2,400 points per week doing the things that it tells you to do, you see that right here, you have an Archangel set engraving blueprint. This is the one place in the game where it is free to get. There are other ways to get it through the uh, buy more, get more event. One of the chests has it. The surprise consumption also has it as well. But these are the most, th these are the free ways in order to get it. There are other ways through like the Lord trial uh, that, that's recently come out that I actually do like that event. Uh, so that's a good way to get it for free, but you only get a certain amount of uh, keys. So you're looking at a pretty long time in order to get this to work on average. But I figured this would be a very informative video for people who really wanted to know. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I'm going to be uploading a Clash of Kings video once a week. Even if I upload other things, I will still be making Clash of Kings content. So thanks, everybody, for sticking with me through all this. And until next time, I will see you on the battlefield. Five.